What's up, Red Group? It is Monday, NTI Day 24, and you guys have been learning about geometry. First, you looked at the different types of shapes, 3D and 2D, and then we also were able to classify them and partition the shape. And then on Thursday, you guys got to look at different types of angles. Well, today you get to look at different types of triangles, and you have to use your knowledge about different types of angles to classify these triangles. So let's get started. First off, what you need to know is there's two ways to classify a triangle. You can classify it by the lengths of the sides, or you can classify it by their actual angles. Okay, so let's look at the lengths of sides first. There are three main types of triangles whenever you are looking at how long their sides are. So you've got scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. What do those each mean? Let's dive into it. Here we go. Okay, scalene. Scalene means there's three different side lengths. Okay, so I went ahead and I drew in some scalene triangles. And if you look, they all have different lengths and different sides. So that would mean that they have all different size angles as well. So what I mean by that is this right here is 40. Okay, and this is 20. And this one's 38. So you never have a repeating number. All the sides are different sizes. And that's the same way for the angles. So you look here, eight, here's 12, and here's seven. When you get older in high school and in middle school, you'll have to find the missing sides. But for now, what you need to know is that scalene, three different side lengths. Okay, next example is isosceles. An isosceles triangle has two sides that are congruent, meaning that they are the same. So if you look, we have five and five, five and five, okay? And then there's one that is not the same as the others. So those isosceles usually has two congruent angles as well, but mainly we're just looking at the sides here. So if you see that your triangle has two of the same number, you automatically know it's isosceles. And then equilateral. Equilateral sounds exactly like what it means. All sides are equal. It's your standard triangle. 30, 30, 30. Okay, they're all the same length. So how I would probably draw this if I were drawing an equilateral triangle, I'd probably put little uh, hash marks or little tick marks to indicate that they're all congruent. And that's what you see with equilateral. So if you go back to like isosceles, a lot of times they'll put like two little tick marks like this to say, hey, those two are congruent, just like whenever we were talking about parallel sides. Okay, so now we looked at the three different types for classifying triangles with their side lengths. Now let's look at the three different types with classifying triangles with their angles. So we already know that there are really four different types of angles that we've looked at. There's been acute, obtuse, right, and straight. Well, there can't be a straight triangle. So we are going to really look at acute, right, and obtuse for now. So let's get started with my favorite, and that's acute. Okay. So what you need to know is all triangles actually have two acute angles, no matter what, because all triangles equal 180 degrees if you were to add up all three of their sides. So no matter what, all of your triangles have two acute angles, but you're going off of that other angle to classify them that's not acute. So if you're thinking about an acute triangle, they have to have three acute angles that are less than 90. Well, the immediate um, example that I thought of is, well, 180 divided by three is 60. So I, th I thought, well, I know that they'd all have 60 degrees. So I know that this would be an acute angle. And if you've been paying attention to my video, you can probably classify this. This is actually gonna be an equilateral triangle as well, because I know if they have the same angles, they probably have the same size same size sides. Okay, next example, you have obtuse. So that means that it has to have at least one obtuse angle, because of course, right here, like I said, here's your acute angle, here's your acute angle, and this is the angle that we're talking about that classifies this triangle as an obtuse angle. 
So what you'll be asked to do is I'll give you different triangles and you'll have to classify them. So remember obtuse, if it has one obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle. And my last example that we're going to look at is a right angle. It's This is a really common uh, type of triangle. Okay. So a right triangle, and I, it usually does have this little box, which indicates that it is 90 degrees and that it's a right a right angle or a right triangle. So here's an example. If this was 90 degrees, then I know that this one's an acute angle because it's 35.54. And that this one's also an acute angle because it's 54.46. And I know acute angles is anything less than 90. So you just need to know that a right triangle has one right angle. So let's do a little review. So triangles have to equal up one all their angles equal 180 degrees. They all have to have at least two acute angles. And they're classified into two different categories. You have triangles that are classified by their sides, and you have triangles that are classified by their angles. So whenever you're thinking about the three different sides, you have scalene, which means that none of their sides are the same length. Isosceles, which means that two of their sides are the same length, and equilateral, which means all three sides are the same length. Then whenever you classify them by angles, an acute triangle has three acute angles, an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle, and a right triangle has one right angle. All right, so what I want you to do today is I want you to get a green light on reflex, then you're going to watch this video and then be looking for the activity that is in Google Classroom.